What is up guys? Welcome to Supercars of London. Welcome to Phoenix, Arizona. What an amazing place this is. Now I've only been here a matter of hours. I landed late last night, got transferred to the hotel, had a quick dinner and went to bed. Now the time at the moment has just gone four o'clock in the morning. I've been up since three o'clock because my body clock is completely screwed and I'm jet lagged. But that means that we can get super productive and crack on with what we are doing here because I'm here courtesy of McLaren because I'm going to be driving the 720S Spider and 600LT Spider. Driving impressions of the car are embargoed for the next couple of weeks or so, so I can't actually tell you what it is like to drive. But what I can do is share with you my experience over the next 48 hours and then my road trip from here to Los Angeles. So we're going to kick things off right away. Four o'clock in the morning, I'm wide awake. No one's going to be in the gym. Hopefully no one's gonna be in the car park so that we can go and check out all of the cars. And I'm gonna show you the hotel and the people that are here as well. And we're gonna have a wicked day, but we're starting incredibly early. So let's get cracking, head over to the gym, and then see if we can get into the car park. Quickly, let's do a hotel room tour because like the rest of the hotel, even though I've only seen it at night time, it is amazing. And this room is no exception. When I walked in through the door, I was like, this place is bigger than my apartment. And well, we've got a living room space, we've got a huge TV, which is definitely bigger than the one that we've got at home. The bed is amazing. I've already set up my editing suite down there. We've got like a seating area and I've got a 720S Spider and a 600LT Spider model. Another seating area over there. I mean, so much room for activities. That mirror is one of the biggest mirrors I've ever seen in my entire life. And then you've got to take a fair amount of steps before you get into the bathroom. We've got a bath, we've got two sinks, we've got a toilet and a shower and another mirror. I mean, this is everything that you need. So I think now I've got the hotel key, let's go. And walk in the rain. Pretty sure we're in a desert. Oh my God. I am not sure what you can see right now, but uh, the weather is not good. This is not a good sign. Hopefully <laughs> it dries up before we're supposed to be driving two of the latest McLaren convertibles. I do not believe it. This is the entrance to the hotel and it is amazing. I've just turned night vision on because there's an 812 super fast here. <laughs> How sick is that? I mean, it's not a McLaren, but that's a really nice spec. It looks like it's dark blue with red calipers in the daylight. I will show you that. Look at that. Got like a delivery driver at 4 a.m. This is cool. So this is the entrance to the hotel. I need to ask someone, find out where the gym is. Oh is anyone awake? Seeing as I've got complete full reign of this place. I'm gonna get a full workout in and share with you what I'm gonna do. But I'm basically just gonna train my entire body because it's been a while since I've been to the gym. I run a lot, but I haven't been to the gym in a while. So I'm gonna get cracking on a full body workout. Here out in the States, they use pounds rather than kilos. So I don't actually know what weights I'm supposed to be doing. But I'm gonna superset everything. I'm gonna do chest with back. I'm gonna do biceps and triceps. And I'm gonna be doing shoulders with legs. And that is gonna cover my entire body. And then I'm gonna go and do a cool down, but try and keep the tempo as best as possible. Each set, I'm gonna be doing four sets, is gonna have a different rep. So to begin with, I'm gonna go light and do 20 just to warm and get blood back into my muscles. Then I'm gonna be doing six reps of heavy. Then I'm gonna do 10 with a timed decline. So basically do three seconds on the decline to really stretch the muscle. And then right at the end, I'm gonna smash it out and do 50 reps to end. Thank you. 
hilariously, the gym actually got busy towards the end from people that had just arrived and uh, were jet lagged. But I'm gonna be saying goodbye to these McLarens and I'm gonna try and find the gold mine. I believe there must be at least, at least 15 or 20 McLarens, but the McLaren technicians do have an early start. So let's hope that I beat them to the cars. Well, I found the car park. I found an AMG GTS, but I haven't found any McLarens. And I don't think that they'd be kept outside, but I can't see any signage for an underground car parking. This is all outdoor. There's like a mini here and the Merc there. So I think we'll have to wait until daylight uh, before we can see anything that has got a McLaren badge. So I've actually got my camera down. Um, I'm hiding behind this McLaren here, Seb's there, because we've been told that we're not allowed to film uh, at the hotel reception because the guests complain if I point the camera in that direction over there. But that is our 720S Spider. Look, check it out. How cool is that? And I've got a bag of energy drinks in here, courtesy of the hotel, to get us through today and the jet lag. Look at me, I'm driving a 720S Spider in Arizona. And look how amazing the weather is. Ah, oh, oh, oh. so look at this. Hey, look at me now. I'm driving a 720S by with a roof down. <laughs> <laughs> I do actually feel really sorry for McLaren because they have planned this entire route, the stop offs for the views, the locations, everything has been organised meticulously down to a T, like all of these media drives are. And uh, it is to emphasise the convertible the supercar and um, our visibility is less than 50 meters now. I can't see anything. Really. Yeah, it's, it's, um, I mean, that car is gonna disappear quick. See ya. The sun has made it. The sun has turned up and you can tell they don't get that much rain because look at the color of the grass of the golf course. It's yellow, but the buildings, are pretty awesome and spectacular as well. And I'm just following the lovely McLaren lady and the sign for McLaren. Look who's here. James, oh, well. Parker, Tim. <laughs> Look at the size of my cactus. <laughs> <laughs> one was creeping on me. Yeah. Oh, big chauffeur, are we? <laughs> Indeed we are. <laughs> Get that B-roll, baby. <laughs> I just got given a golf ball. As expected, I crashed. No, no, I didn't crash a car. I just crashed mentally and physically. A 2.30 a.m. start yesterday. Thank you to jet lag men that by about two o'clock in the afternoon I was done for but I did manage to film a separate video on the 720s spider giving you a lot more information about that but that obviously has to wait until the embargo is lifted so that we can share our driving impressions with you guys but it is now a beautiful morning here the Sun is kind of shining but we've got blue sky and I found the swimming pool resort here at the Four Seasons and today I'm gonna to be driving a 600 LT variant for the first time and it's the spider and we're going to be taking it onto a track as well that's going to be a lot of fun and then i head to a hotel whilst everyone else here heads back to the airport i'm going to stay the night and then drive to los angeles tomorrow it is going to be a long drive 
but not a bad way to sign off from the four seasons in this vlog. Day one of America complete. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and click that notification bell so that you can get all of my American content as it comes out. I will see you very soon. I would put my hand in front of the screen, but I am holding my GoPro ready for today's footage. So I will just see you very soon for episode two of my American adventures. What um, happened the last time you drove a convertible LT product on a press launch? Things got really expensive. <laughs> 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 I believe the quote was, Sell your wife, sell your kids. You've got to own one of these. <laughs> I'm pretty sure last time you uh, didn't have a wife or a kid. No, this time I do. So things could get exceptionally expensive. <laughs> well, enjoy the drive. And thanks, I will dude. See thanks you for reminding me. I've got heart track. palpitations. <laughs>